Imagine being so powerful that Dr. Strange trusts you with his final thoughts, his final spell, because he trusts that you'll be able to fix it. That's the case when it comes to Blue Marvel. He's Dr. Adam, he's called the Blue Marvel, a physics professor, a living antimatter reactor, one of the most powerful beings on this planet, but mainly he's a scientific investigator specializing in mysterious and uncanny. Dr. Strange ain't about to send this message to like a scrub. Blue Marvel. Blue Marvel is a being and he's, he has many gifts, flight, incalculable strength, nine vulnerability, increased lifespan, anti-matter manipulation. The list is nearly endless. It's even implied he has cosmic awareness. Blue Marvel is a powerful being. I'm talking about powerhouse level strong. A guy that can shoot energy blast power type stuff. He's one of those characters that lack flashy feats because he doesn't appear as much, but he still has some pretty flashy ones. But he's basically living antimatter on top of his super strength, durability, and fighting speed. He can do a lot of different things, and he's actually a skilled fighter. But how much power are we talking about when it comes to Blue Marvel? Without even talking about his godlike strength, he's pretty smart intellectually. He graduated from places like this. He has a PhD in theoretical physics, electrical engineering, stuff like that. He's actually a professor making global type of technology just because he can. He's smart enough to do research with T'Challa, a.k.a. Black Panther. He discovered a new dimension, the neutral zone. And help create a new element. All of this, he's very smart and not just a powerhouse being, which you're going to see a lot in this video. You can see he's like a legit professor. And he's a being that avoids sorcery and that type of nonsense. They even say he matches Dr. Doom in intellect. Marine Corps person, smart person, physics and stuff. He was in actual war. Even if he didn't have his powers, he still had fighting skills. All that good stuff you can see right here about Blue Marvel. He's a pure athlete without powers. He was a full bag, touchdowns, won medals in Korea. To keep it real right here, without even having powers, he's one of those characters that actually can box it up. So imagine a military type character that has marksmanship and skills with the strength of Hulk and Thor level beings. I mean, the guy did win two silver stars in the Marine Corps. He's shown leadership qualities to make battle plans with teams of heroes and stuff. Smart characters like Spider-Man are impressed with his work. It makes perfect sense for Blue Marvel to have the power to break guns in half with ease. You can see in different occasions of him punching beings way bigger than him. It doesn't really matter. His super strength is nothing to be brushed over. We've seen him support the weight of skyscraper buildings. He can lift and throw massive ships or decide to fly and punch right through the massive ships. He's strong enough to lift a meteor the size of Arkansas. This already proves he can lift way more than billions of tons because there's mountains that weigh billions of tons and he lifted something like this up. He can go one man army status and you see this big old fleet? He can just go up to him and take him on by himself, flying speed, flying right through him, punching him, throwing ship to the other. One man army status. Blue Marvel's actually stuck Luke Cage with a punch. Somebody like Namor who definitely has history with fighting the powerhouses like Thor and the Hulk compared Blue Marvel's punch to their power. To make matters worse, Blue Marvel has actually one punch knocked out and made an alternate reality version of Hulk sleepy so this statement makes sense with one freaking punch. Even others around are surprised at this. It was literally stated, and this is not an exaggeration, that he could easily split the moon in two. Blue Marvel being able to punch or strike with moon shattering force, considering the beings he always battles. Like a version of Hyperion, for example, he literally just punches him straight to sleep. This is a King Hyperion that has defeated a lot of our favorite characters from an alternate universe and is apparently above your standard Hyperion we see all the time in canon or the different Hyperions, you know, there's more than one in comics lore that we've seen in continuity. One can argue this version of Blue Marvel in the Earth 616 reality might be one of the strongest versions of himself in the entire Marvel multiverse considering King Hyperion has actually fought different versions of him on different Earths and he's killed other reality versions of Blue Marvel. Even different reality versions of Century, Thor, Eternals, and they couldn't stand up to him. He's battled powerful entities like Anti-Man, somebody else that's a higher tier. What we're not about to do is brush over Anti-Man like it's just a walking apart. Look at all the beings Anti-Man can fight. Century, Ares, the God of War, multiple powerhouses at the same time. This same being confirmed to be able to destroy an entire planet. And they were almost killed. That's what Tony Stark said about Anti-Man. That Blue Marvel one-on-one. -on -one. Sentry even gave props to Anti-Man saying he's never seen someone so powerful. And Blue Marvel is the same being that pulled up on this Anti-Man. And actually has the power to get the W on this guy. By making a big blast thing like this. You can see in newer comments they even flash back to his older stuff. One of his more flashier battles was on this occasion with the Century, a being who he punched into orbit with his raw power, as well as taking hits from Century. Blue Marvel is battling somebody that literally has the power of one million exploding suns. 
And this is the size of the earth compared to the freaking sun, y'all. A century literally has this power times a million of a sun exploding. It's even brought up in his battle against Blue Marvel, so you know Blue Marvel's power against him is legit, and the power of the universe is his. Another statement about the power of a million exploding suns about the century. This one said a billion exploding suns. Stated again. Oh, man. Again, against beings like Hercules, one million exploding suns you'd have to be in denial at this point there's even alternate reality versions of him that say the same thing when a fan asked long time ago was it to be taken literally the writer or the creator of the century admitted yes i mean it's been too many occasions there's not really no contradictions how much evidence do you need and guess what blue marvel did the century sent him to space and made him look kind of drowsy with a single punch apparently in marvel comics one sun or one could say a thousand suns exploding is actually enough to apparently destroy an entire galaxy this is a different occasion with another being but they said a thousand suns is enough to destroy an entire galaxy when a star goes nova and marvel is shown in the past one by one stars begin to explode multiple stars stated here that when a star goes supernova it obliterates solar systems with an s do you remember that null event century was powerful enough to go through like some dead celestial armor that's impressive because celestial armor in the past can withstand galactic sized explosions that big but celestial armor can withstand such bs so yeah blue marvel can definitely fight on power to being with the power of literally one million exploding suns at least blue marvel has the strength to punch apart galaxies if he had to or one can say he could punch apart multiple solar systems with ease i mean universal and multi-galactic feats are kind of like a normal thing in marvel when it comes to powerhouses i mean his strength was compared to hulk and thor thor level beings are beings that can make stuff echo from all planes of reality just from striking even have their force compared to the big bang where their shockwaves goes everywhere in the universe busting windows out stretching to the entire length of the cosmos not to mention in my hulk video i have crazy evidence of his strength too but yet blue marvel's strength was compared to these beings yeah blue marvel testing his strength out on namor and namor agrees shuma Gorath, a being that's considered cosmic type being it wasn't his true form but it's still impressive that he's able to fly through this small version of Shuma Graf. You can get more idea of where his writer intent when it comes to power levels. Beings like Captain America consider him a alpha level threat up there with Spectrum. Above a She-Hulk level being. Above beings like Luke Cage and such. Blue Marvel has severe writer intent. Blue Marvel's power has been compared to Doctor Doom. He has writer intent. It's stated that he's the man of Marvels, the magnificent master of might, and the world's strongest. They call his strength incalculable along with his night invulnerability. Blue Marvel's power level has definitely been compared to Hyperion. On top of that, he was prepared to fight like the Squadron Supreme with other beings like Thunder. I have a video about on the channel, grabbing her chain, slinging her with his strength. Also other beings. It's confirmed that nuclear bombs won't stop him. You can see how durable he is when this slugfest with the being known as Sentry and he's still conscious and ready to fight more. He's been blasted by Nova before and kind of just snapped out of it. He's fast, but even if you directly hit him, it's not a guarantee you're going to win. Hydrogen bombs can explode in his hands. All this strength and it's hard to believe he actually has blast power energy projection. When it comes to blast power, you see him use it a lot. There's even times where he uses it like on some Green Lantern construct type stuff to trap beings in a bubble. One can say on some ceiling type stuff. Has blast power from his eyes. He blocked Hyperion's eye beams with a shield type of energy projection. He can put energy around his fist as well. Or just blast beings like King Hyperion. It's even brought up by Blue Marvel that he's fought a version of Hyperion before and they fight again here, Slugfest style. This is basically Marvel's version of Superman, so I'll let you know that the writer intent for Blue Marvel is definitely there. He doesn't even really mess with sorcery, but his power was compared to Doctor Doom. Even adds up when he got in a small baby beam struggle with Doctor Doom with his magic clashing with his antimatter blast power. He has the blast power to shield from Blast from Doom. When Kang the Conqueror popped up, blasted and messed up Kang's gun when Spectrum was going on the Fritz. He used his energy manipulation to kind of get her stuff back in the right condition. And he used his energy projection to infuse Spectrum's body with additional photons to help out the weakened areas to keep her alive, even be able to burn out the infection she had, even though it might be some side effects. He actually is the one that made her stronger thanks to this energy manipulation, powering up Spectrum. Thanks, Blue Marvel. Blue Marvel obviously has morals and he's fought all kind of beings, even beings like the Phoenix. He's gotten tussles with 
And since he knows that the Phoenix is a cosmic level threat, he can actually cut loose, which he normally doesn't do. I mean, the guy's durable enough to withstand this bullcrap and didn't blast her back. One can say this is like a little scuffle with the Phoenix. Just don't forget what a little piece of the Phoenix has done in the past. Like when Emma Frost was possessed by a piece of the Phoenix, not even all of it. She was enough to, alone to fight a Thor level B and make him pretty freaking sleepy with short work with just a piece of the Phoenix. So no matter what percentage of the Phoenix is still impressive fighting it. Adam got in a little small tussle with his blast power, blah, blah, blah. Blue Marvel even got an encounter with Beyonder type beings and messed up their outer shell because they were clothed in matter and Blue Marvel is literally living antimatter reactor. But I want to say that it would definitely outside help because other characters like the goddess of stories is here that can help control the narrative to help the underdogs even the odds a little bit against these infinite beings not to mention one of the beings of the group has the eternity mask a being that can hit in multiple planes of reality you know cosmic type being america chavez is wearing something aka a temporary power to help her have the power to fight a beyonder because blue marvel gave it to her because these beings are indeed higher beings these are the reality engineers they are facing against this was like a little scuffle they had but that was an impressive feat regardless if it was an avatar or a not full powered state they are too mighty for these three-dimensional beings to understand so they have to cloth themselves in ways that they can perceive which is why they look like this even though they would be technically too big to even fit in front of them besides all this this is still cool that blue marvel along with the help of the goddess of stories to help control the narrative helped even the playing field to give blue marvel an opening to actually blitz and damage the outer shell like this they even called it a flesh suit it's not even really his full defeat really respect blue marvel's might yet when other energy projector type beings like captain marvel and spectrum aka photon a being i have a video about on the channel that was blasting the lightness back into his chamber working together as a team here you can clearly see Blue Marvel being a helpful aid. Not to mention, he can actually blast with enough power to make Carol Danvers Captain Marvel achieve her binary state to be powered up more than ever before. He's fast enough to kind of catch up to Nova after Nova clearly flew off. It's occasions like this nobody pays attention to when it comes to his speed. Can just fly from the Earth to the Moon in minutes and just think. And he doesn't need to breathe or oxygen and stuff because he doesn't have nothing on here. He's the type of kid that does not need to eat, sleep. Stated right here. Yep, doesn't need to breathe. <laughs> He's cool with the Watchers, Uatu, to be the godfather of his child, you know, stuff like that. He says, let me just fly from New York to Greece to help fight in this Greece area. And say, let me come back. Thanks for the help in Greece. With his abilities, he's used his blast power and fighting skills at the same time during combat. Also, powering himself up in the process. When it comes to speed and maneuverability, he seems to be able to turn sharply. You can see him shield himself or just straight up shield others. Bullets bounce off of him and his body can withstand the pressures of the deep water or ocean. In this occasion, he was able to power up Carol, you already know. But when it's all said and done, when it comes to everything put together, there's no doubt he's a Superman level being or a Hulkish Thor level type being. He has plenty of writer intent. I would personally love to see Blue Marvel at least scrap it out with Silver Surfer at least once, considering we've seen him scuffle with the Phoenix and mess up a little aspect of a Beyonder. Heck, I would even like to see him fight a 616 Hulk, the canon version of Hulk, or maybe Mortal Hulk or something. Will we see that happen? Or will he stay on the sidelines? I mean, the guy has less than 300 appearances, so. One can say he's not really their priority to get comic books out with, even though he's clearly an epic character. Strikes that can threaten the universe is probably something you wasn't expecting from Blue Marvel. <laughs> he himself doesn't feel like he needs to cut loose unless he's fighting a cosmic being like the freaking Phoenix, so let you know his restraint. Because having the power to effortlessly blow up stars is not something to tread lightly, but at the end of the day, all this could be just me. What do you guys think? Do you think Blue Marvel is one of the strongest beings in the universe when it comes to Marvel? I think he is. He needs more appearances, but what do you guys think? I will see you guys later. Thanks for the donations. Respect Blue Marvel. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.